hi guys um welcome back to my channel um first i just need to thank you first for for your love for the last video it was really overwhelming i must say yeah, you guys are really the best thank you for the subscription yeah like i said we are getting to um 1000 subscribers by the end of march that is the goal getting to 1000 subscriber by the end of march yeah i believe we can we can achieve that i believe yeah we can do that together it's not just uh, me alone but we can do it together so if you are just joining in on um, my name is akiri abonuwa i must say first yeah i'm akiri abonuwa and this is my channel where i discuss um motivational talks um studies travel photography and yeah sport also yeah i'm really a big sport fan and it's interesting so today quickly i'm not gonna waste any time um uh, i'm discussing something really interesting today many people have been asking uh i've been getting messages from people i say uh, what's the process of studying in germany how did you do it um how did you get to germany so today i'm going to be starting this series i must call it series because i'm going to be dropping um new videos every week to discuss this step to discuss uh how you can apply how you can get in your application to study in germany so you have to stick to that you just have to subscribe to the channel if you're just watching if you're not a subscriber yet just subscribe to the channel and yeah every week you get the notification when i drop the next video and I believe I can help you in your journey to travel to Europe or basically Germany to further your story. So the topic today is moving from um, Nigeria to Germany as a student, Masters or BSc. Which of them um, should you go for? Should you go for Masters or should you go for BSc? Which of these programs is best for you? Which one should you go for? So that is what I'm going to be discussing today. Um, so quickly, let's just dive into it. Let's just go through into it. So studying BSc in Germany is really, um, it's really an interesting thing. It's really an interesting thing. It's really, really interesting. I must say from getting your student colleague, from writing your AFNAMA test, from to your student colleague exam, you did the student college exam then you get into the university of course you know these programs are in german they are not in english yeah so that is also an interesting thing for going even before you get to this um going to the student college you have to do your language you have to do your language uh for maybe four six months you have to get at least maximum of um b b eyes which is a level or b2 before you can even go for this student college because you need um you need the maximum amount of language that you can ever offer to get into this because the exam you are going to be writing is also in German. And when you get to this all, I could remember when I wrote, when I wrote my, I was like, my seat number was like, um, I think 500 or 800 or so. And that was like, how many years ago? I can really clear, I think, but I know it was within 500 or so. Like people were really much. It's like when you go to the Nigeria public school and you see the number of students they have there. So this is the way people come to write this um, student colleague exam, this AFNAMA test to get into the student colleague. And you know the interesting part about this thing is like you don't have the guarantee that you'll be picked. You might pass the exam, but of course, this school where you went to write this exam, you have to get into their, they seem to get into their student colleague. They have the number of people they want to pick also. So take for example, we are 900 people that write the exam, they need just 100 people. So even if you pass the exam, yeah, even if you pass the exam, they are going to pick their 100. So if you're lucky, you get it. If you're not, you get it. But always go for the best. Always go for the best, no matter what you do, no matter anything, go for the best. So I'm going to be discussing, I'm going to be breaking down, down getting into uh, Germany, studying BSc in Germany. I'm going to be getting into that, like I'll break it down. How everything is going to go so you just have to stick to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'm going to be discussing that so back to what we are really discussing today should you go for your bsc or should you go for your masters i've talked about the bsc yeah i'm going to come back to that when i'm doing the full video on that i'm going to be breaking that down and should you go for masters masters is also interesting the good thing about coming for masters in germany is you you can do your masters in english like you can study your master's in English, depending on the course you are coming for. Yeah, you can do it in English. So there are two types of master program that you should do. Two, two, two. Yeah, just two. 
type of master program. They have the consecutive and they have the inconsecutive. So you might want to ask what is the consecutive program. This one is for those that actually did their BSc in Germany. You did your BSc in Germany and now you want to go for your master's. This is free for you. This is free. Most of it is also free. Of course, you have some school, other stuff, your which you have to really pay for, but it's like, it's like free, it's like free. But for the inconsecutive, like you are coming from your country, you're coming from Nigeria to study here in Germany. This you are paying 20,000 euros to 24 to 25,000 per year for this program. So that is not free. Then let me go back, let me quickly go back to, um, to something. In Germany, from 2013, there was like this announcement that coming to Germany to study is free. But however, from 2017, um, the state of Baden-Württemberg, they actually said, okay, to study in this state, this particular state, you have to pay 1,500 euros in a semester. That past semester is 1,500 euros. So it's not free again. So you have to calculate how much is 1,500 euros to Nera. You know how much that is. Yeah. So that is for that. And there are some other states, yeah. There's some other states where you see you need just like 300 euros or so just to get some things during the semester, your books, your whatever you need. But for them, it's still free. But for by the way, the book is no more free. By the way, the book, you have to pay 1,500 per semester. So going back to the master's program. So this master's program, their English master program, like 100% English, 100% English master's program, which you can attain. So this actually answer my question of saying is it bsc that is more interesting or coming for my style this actually answers the question for me i will go for anything that you have to go for english because when you study in english in the language you are used to all your life since when you were born you get to understand more and you you feel more comfortable right and you when you get into the class even if you you missed anything you can go back and read but if you study in german german is an interesting language if you study if you study in German, sometimes you get into the class, you're lost in the class. Yeah, even with your level of yeah, language. Some people have stayed 20 years and yeah. And sometimes when you have to read it, you have to start translating most of those. But it's really an interesting, it's really an interesting language. You don't ask me if I speak German. I know many of you start going to the um the comment section, start asking, um, actually, do you speak German? Of course I do. Yeah. You can still ask anyway. You can ask me what's level of German I speak huh? yeah you can just put that I'm going to answer you I'm going to answer your question like I'm going to be in the comment section all day um to discuss with you so going back to this going back to this um to this program I'm talking about the master program I'm talking about so how do you get most of this master program how do you get a master program there is a website um called that an organization called that which is responsible for all this program for you to get this program I'm going to put a link to to that website in the comment section i'm going to put the link in the description so you can click on it to see if they have the course you really want to study or if they don't have the, the course so i'm going to put the link right there so once you go to this website you search for the course you want to study you you can choose your state like if you know any state in germany anyway but if you don't yeah you'll be comfortable with anyone you can also ask me in the comment section which state is really more comfortable i will tell you but then with the bug is actually um it's comfortable because I live here and Kasre is very, very warm. Second most warmest city in Germany. So maybe you might not be seeing snow, but at least you enjoy the, the, the warm weather. Yeah. Yeah. So we talk about that in the next video. I'm going to be discussing. So when you get to this website for your master program and you choose the topic in which you, because you want to study, you will see how many years these courses are offered and you see, um, if they are 100% English or they are some maybe 80% English, 20% German, or you see if it's just German alone. So with that, when you, when you get this course, yeah, there is enough for you to apply. Now, also in this next video, I'm going to be talking about if you need an agent from Nigeria to come to Germany also. Of course, I went to an agent. I did everything to an agent. But I'm going to be telling you right now if you really need an agent or not. So stick to the next video. That's an interesting topic. If you need an agent to apply or not. Interesting. You, you don't want to miss that. I'm going to give you the full gist. In short, 
I'm going to be telling you story for those of you that like story. I'm going to be telling you stories. Ah, Omo. I suffer. Don't tell anybody. But I suffer. Not in the ass of agents. Yeah, they have their troubles, but oh my dear. I suffered. I suffer in if there's anything like that or suffer mates. But I'm going to be telling you if you need an agent to do your application or not. So once you click on this program and you see the program, they have another platform, Uni Assist, that helps you with your application process. They helps you with the documents. They tell you the document. They tell you like step by step how to go for this application. So I'm going to put in the link also to Uni Assist. To Uni Assist, I'm going to be putting the link also. With them, you are you, you are guaranteed how you go about this process, which answers the question if it needs an agent or not. It's less for you, but I'm going to be discussing that in the next in the next testing. So that is the way the master program. That's the way the master program is the consecutive and the inconsecutive. You are paying for one, another one you are not paying for. You are not paying for it. But one thing you should understand is even if you are not paying for it, and this master program is 100 percent in English, the question you need to ask yourself is if I finish this master program after two years, do I want to go back to Nigeria? Yeah, or your country, or do I want to stick in Germany? Do I want to stay in Germany and continue and work in Germany and have a family in Germany? Yeah, that is the question you should ask yourself before you start this your master program. You need to you need to be clear about this. Like you really need to be clear about this. So take for example, you are clear that you want to stay in the country. This brings you to the language. You are doing your study in the university English, but when you are done. Yeah. When when you are done, you won't be speaking in English to people, which is where you need a language. Now you have to be speaking in German. So advice for you, listen, listen, you can put your here. Don't say I didn't tell you. Once you are doing your master program in English, take a little time, maybe your evening to start learning language. That's if you want to stay in the country. If you don't want to, no problem. If you finish your master's, book your plane tickets. You turn back to your country. No wala. Nobody's holding you. But if you know you want to stay, you want to stay. As you are doing your master program, my brother, my sister, Charlie, be learning that language. Learn it. Not even if you want to stay. Okay, now, while you are doing your study, while you are studying in Germany, you, you have this, you get a work permit. This is another thing I'm going to be discussing. Getting work permit in Germany. For master students, you might find it easy. Yeah, for BSc, my friend, I will tell you, I will gist you. I have a lot of gist. So, while you're studying, you want to earn some money. You want to do some part-time jobs. You want to do some part-time jobs where you can have some little cash in your pocket. Now, most of these jobs you are going to be doing, they are not in they are not in English. Even if you are working in the restaurants, just carrying food and be giving to people. Yeah. It's not in English. You have to speak to people. At least you have to take orders. You have to ask people. You have to greet them when they come. Hello, how are you doing? What food would you like to eat? What drink would you like to drink? So you did the German. Yeah. So even if you are doing all this, your courses in English, whatever, you still need the language to get this job. Yeah. Even if you are doing cleaning. In the offices, yeah, you study the language because you have to communicate with your boss. And sometimes there are some things you need to write, or you are working on the streets. You have to speak to people. So while you are doing this, your German, while you are doing this, your English masters, it's always good to spare a little bit of your time to start learning the language, to start learning. The, but if you are rich enough, for, you have the money. You know, some of us don't. If you have the money. You have the money, yeah, and you don't need to work. If your father is sending you fifty thousand or hundred thousand uh, dollars of euros in your account, so you don't need to work while you're doing your masters. You pay for your house rent. You do everything. Then don't learn the language. Don't learn because you have enough money. You can do whatever you want. You can spend any how you want. But for you. That your father is not sending you all this money. You are not a dollar, my friend. 
learn this language learn it when you learn this language eh? huh? I'm doing drama yeah I know why I will give you stories by the time I give you the stories then you know why I'm giving you this drama when you learn the language right you will just be able to you are free like when you learn the language you are really free you're really free like you can move around you can do whatever you want to do even if you are doing your studies in English you can flow with people you can communicate with people so the question is masters of English with this thing I'll just tell you masters is really really advisable it's really really advisable when you are coming for masters because at least number one that you can do it in English it's really really advisable because you will be free then while you are doing it in English you you will spend you can spend less time in school yeah because you understand what is what's what they are really teaching in class if you are doing it in German when you don't really understand of course you will learn the language and you don't really understand you take extra extra time if you study in class you did all your lectures in class in German by the time you get home you take extra time to to digest this thing again because sometimes when the lecturers are speaking my friend they are speaking is entering here is not staying in the middle it's going out here because you don't understand you are lost you are lost yeah so you spend extra time at home to read extra some students study for two hours for you you might have to do it three hours four hours you have to do additional time for you to get these things right so that's the advantage of masters you do it in english and that is way to go but like i said i'm going to be putting the link to, to that and uni assist where you get this information where you get an information so that's all about that so in the next video i'm going to be talking about how to do your processing so i'm going to be focusing on bsc students right now how you go about it. i'm going to be focusing on you in the next video and yeah how you go about it, how you do your processing how you apply and everything i'm going to be talking talking about that so that is all so remember this we are getting to 1000 by the end of march 1000 1000 huh? 1000 yeah one zero 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 so click on the subscribe button right now and let's just do this so my name is akiri once again and i'm grateful that you could listen to me and i'm also grateful that i could share my experience with you and i'm going to be sharing everything for you in short i promise i'll share everything i'll give you everything all the details dropping your questions and i'm going to be, we are going to be discussing everything watch out for next video coming out in a few days and yeah should you study masters or bsc for easy way go for masters for bsc Watch us for how to do it in the next video. I remain a creative lower. And yeah, this is me saying um, goodbye and thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, catch you in the next video.